Well hello there and welcome to issue number 138 and this issue is all about the cancer snake as you can see on the caption prior to the video those are all the dates you have to be in to be in this western and eastern astrological combination um, any comments, any feedback towards this uh, video they're very welcome so just post them or drop me a message or anything and I'll get back to you as soon as I really possibly can which is normally pretty quick ok let's start in the beginning, let's start with the Cancerian snake as a child. Now, we spoke about the Cancer, um, very family orientated. Um, they find it hard to leave, to get to school because they like the security of the family. Um, they don't enjoy being away from their parents um, at young age, which unfortunately school um, makes happen so they find it a little bit of a struggle and the parents have a job dropping them off and hoping that they enjoy it and get involved and they do worry about them but with the snake in the mix you've got a more confident cancerian you've got one that adjusts very quickly and one that you don't worry about so much in this circumstance that they'll be overrun by the other children or anything like that not at all because they've got a lot more confidence and a lot more poise um, they're not as shy, um, they are still very, very sensitive, but they've got a good way of, of, of dealing with that. Um, they're very empathic to other children, and a lot of children take to them very, very quickly. Um, and you'll find even from the early, early days, they're very um, concerned with the problems of other kids in their class. Um, there's a very, very big caring nature that comes out. Um, and they're really great for advice if we move through the school years. Um, a lot of people seek out counsel from them and they talk and they uh, understand people's feelings. They're very, very sensitive. And as I say, a lot of people go to them when they're feeling down, when they're feeling low. And sometimes a cancerian snake thinks, well, why don't they come and see me when they feel happy? They feel a little bit used in that sense that when people are on a low one, or things have gone wrong at home or wherever they've gone wrong um, they seek out the cancer snake for their comfort and they are very comforting because they've always got a kind word they've always got you know a, a, a comforting way with them they always make you feel uh, safe and secure and that you can talk to them about anything and you can um, the cancer snake's brilliant like that they don't judge they're great at talking to and they're very good at keeping your your secrets private and between you two and they can hold counsel with many many different people but they will not be ones to you know be talking about your personal stuff with anybody else and vice versa they can really section things off excellently they're very good mentally like that where they say no this is for that this is for this so you find a very sensitive and I say person that seek out for you know troubles basically and they are a problem solver they're a fantastic problem solver uh, they're great at putting their arm around somebody and just saying come on you know forget about it they're very generous of heart and of spirit like that when they say come off we're, come on we're going to do something for the day um, you know nothing's too much problem for their friends in that sense you know come on we go off and do something for the day you forget about their worries you forget about that you know uh, look they have a lot of their mates in for tea and stuff like that when their mates aren't, aren't having a good time or they're down in their luck they're very generous you know there's a there's some tea for them there's there's you know there's time spent around their house watching the television watching the programs they like you know um and it really is a solid place and this carries on through their life um yes they could very well do college um, they are a carer, so we've got to look at them in the caring industry. Yes, they're a snake, so let's not underestimate this snake, but the caring and the empathy is their foremost, and the snake is there with the ability to adapt to certain situations. I think they'd be great in the armed forces, and uh, being a medic in the armed force, stuff like that, um, holding, you know, themselves together under the pressure, which the snake does brilliantly, but with the caring of the cancerian makes them somebody that you know you can't help but feel very secure and safe with so they carry this through you know people will be finding them and talking to them they'll be a great counsellor for instance because people will be able to go to them 
um, the only time you really get counselled is when you're low, unfortunately. But, you know, they always are very good at this job because they can segregate, as I say, they can segregate and they've got nice, solid advice. Plus, you feel safe that you can give over information that you know, it's not going to be, you know, used against you or anything like that because they're very ethical in that sense. Um, but if we look on the snake side, which this is, you know, this combination is at the end of the day, and we're thinking about when's the bike going to come in, when's the real bike going to come in, you know, are they, are they just, or they just wanting themselves round to constrict and restrict. Well, that happens in the relationship. Um, this is where this conundrum comes in. It happens in the relationship where they do smother. They love to smother. They feel jealousy very deeply. When their heart's involved, um, there is not the balance. There is not the um, segregation. It's a white hot heat that they feel continually. Um, it's like it doesn't, can't get quenched. So they need somebody that they're so trusting in, someone they're totally, totally, um, you know, 100% confident in. They will not give in their, you know, their their love for anything under that. They could be a little bit promiscuous until they find that, yes, that could be true. We could find somebody who can use their charm. Um, they are emotional, let's be honest. So, you know, that's going to come out as sometimes they need fulfillment and they will find that fulfillment, they will get it, you know. But ultimately, when they want that love to come out and show and that caring, the whole thing, it can be smothering, it can be a lot for some partners to take on board because they feel, wow, I don't feel I can breathe. But there are certain ones that are going to really love that. They're going to love that, um, you know, like it's like you're the film star of this you know relationship like you're zoned in every camera's on you everything you want nothing's too good for you so there are going to be signs there and they're going to be signs that are going to get the respect of the snake that's what we need to always get the respect to say yes we are um we can we can cope we can handle ourselves we can be private um we can be ultimately hot lovers that's you know this is going to be the key but you've got to be the whole package because the snake as we know it will wrap itself around this is not the biter of the snake this is the coiler this is the python type which will restrict and gradually if you're not up to the task you will get rinsed out and left as a shell so you've got to be prepared if you're going in to do you know into the courting stakes and it won't happen when the thing is when they when they're in you know that fulfillment mode okay it happened quickly they find what they need to fulfill but they won't stay around they won't hang around but when it comes to the one they're loving when it comes to that courting they love the whole thing about the courting they love the caring they love the the walks on the on the beach they love the meals, the wine and the dining. So it's a totally different character that comes out. You know, it's the all encompassing thing. You know, nice holidays together. Um, and they will be the perfect gentle lady or gentleman. You know, they will look at tradition in that sense. But as I say, nothing will be too much for, for, for this person to do for their partner. They will do absolutely everything. Once that confidence is up, you know, you've got a real generous hearted, spirited, um, spiritual even you know they know when you're low they know when you're down they know when to pick you up so who is going to be prepared to take on this character or or okay let's put it in the sense of who's going to be worthy um, well we have to go to the rooster family when we're looking at the snakes yes they're, they're hot lovers exactly the same um, they will very very much be in tune in the sexual sense the mental sense they will be totally spiritually in tune. So this is a perfect match. So we've got to look for the Scorpios, the Capricorns, the Piscean, the Virgo and the Taurian. They are the top matches of the rooster. So, you know, this is one of them unions where instantly they gain each other's confidence quickly. They are secretive. They're very private. Um, they do love the courtship yes they can do the quick sex stuff 
absolutely. But when they're zoned in, you know, and they're both worthy of each other, and that's one thing they look at each other and think, well, you know, I found somebody who is worthy of my passion, of my, you know, wholeness. Also, we've got to look at the Oxen family because with the Oxen, we've got strict tempo, we've got a lovely routine and gentle character. We've got somebody who is totally devoted. They can be fixed, but then the snake doesn't mind that because they know the Oxen doesn't mind being smothered. They can absorb the love and they're very earthy and they're very loving and they make a wonderful home and they make wonderful parents as well, both of these very secure and as I say wonderful cooks the oxen and it's just a great you know when if you walk into that home of the snake and the oxen there's a vibrancy there's a feel of you feel instantly relaxed you feel as though you're welcome you know and the kitchen will be the, the harbour of everything going on lovely going on fresh cooked stuff it'd be a wonderful um, environment to feel um, just relaxed feeling good um, and as I say, they love to entertain friends, these two. A little bit more so than the rooster cat, they like that privacy. But a little bit, they like the friends over and they like to, you know, just have philosophical chats, they'd be fantastic. So let's look at the Scorpio Ox, the Virgo Ox, the Piscean Ox, and the Taurus Ox. Wonderful matches, all of them. Uh, the best ones in the Oxen family. The ones to avoid, well, we have to avoid pigs. Um, outwardly, um, the cancer very much can show empathy towards the pig, and the pig can feel safe, secure, but it's when that coining comes in, that stifling, um, the pig is quite dominant and stifling as well, so uh, they're caustic each other, then there'll be clashes over, I want a bit of independence, the pig will want to say, well, I'm still a person in my own right. They don't want to lose that identity. They won't, but there's a fear of that. There's a fear of them not being in charge. There's a fear of them not being the focal point of the relationship, which doesn't sit well with them. And then the constriction goes on, and then the pig, you know, when they're backed into a corner, they will charge. It's very rare, and you get this going on, this conflict, this battle of wheels, and it's not nice at all. So if we've got to look at... Uh, any ones to avoid, it must be any Western signs to do with the pig, absolutely any. If we look at the health issues with the Cancerian snake, well, it's trouble mainly with the digestive system. Um, the snake is quite a fussy eater um, and the Cancer uh, is quite a good eater, you know. So they have a little bit, there's a little bit of the, the, inner, the inner self of the snake not being quite able to take the vivacious appetite of the Cancerian. So sometimes they will have digestive problems, suffer heartburn, indigestion, quite quite a problem for this combination. Um, so maybe just wary in time of ulcers, etc. It is stomach based, so we have to watch that and the esophagus. So keep an eye on that um, cancer state. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and please join me for the next one. Thank you.